Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Mimi With Love. It is a Wednesday afternoon and I am coming to you this afternoon to share a VR and project that I have made for Hashtag Tina's Challenge Giveaway 2022. And guys, before we get started, I'd just like to ask all of you all to go over, if you have time, and see what Tina's giveaway is about. Um, she hasn't had many responses or entries, which is just, everyone knows how that feels. So, um, she's awesome. She's such an amazing crafter. So, go over, hop over at Tina Loves to Craft. All caps, all together. And show her some crafty love. Uh, join her challenge. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I think she would really appreciate it. And if you do go over, please tell her by me, me with love sent you. Anyway, I won't go into the rules and stuff. But all that information, or anyway... Tina's information will be in the description box below where you can go straight to her channel and see what this is all about. Now, what I've made for Tina for the first time, and I'm so excited, i seen Sheila of Country Girl First make these stacked envelopes, and she had watched, um, I think it was Karen Billinger, and she was just thrilled, you know. She And when I saw hers, oh my gosh. You guys, I fell in love with the stacked um, envelope. And of course, I had to try it. So Tina is getting my first stacked envelope that I've ever, ever made. And here it is, guys. Actually, it was like this. Now, what do y'all think? I had the best time doing this. I, like I said, I'd never done one. So I didn't know what it was about. I watched Sheila, and I watched a couple other ladies, and I just got so excited because it's really fun. Now, as you can see right here, I've got three little flowers there. I've got two pieces of the seam binding tied together there. Um... Here is a handmade, this is one of my um, flowers that I make. This is a Dollar Tree flower, but I've added some gems. And this is some old trim I had. So, and this is the first envelope. And inside, I've got little miniature cards for her to write on, put dates on, or whatever. Or just put it in a journal. She could put this whole thing in a journal if she wanted to. So, of course, then, they may let me quiet and they may be right back. Sorry about that, guys, <laughs> but I'm back. Anywho, so that's the outside front that you see. And, you know, you want it to look really cute. Then I've got some fabric hanging off here. And then the back, I went ahead and decorated it, too, just because I wanted to. <laughs> so, then this, you just flip it up. That first envelope flips up. And here's the second envelope. And I've got a little pitcher and a little merchant ledger sheet there for her to use. You flip it up. And in this envelope... I've got a Polaroid and a tag I've made. Then you flip it up. I just love it. See the little rose? And that is the wing of the butterfly. And here is small but important details. And then here's a little ledger thing of some kind really cute and those just go in there and then you flip it again and it says be bold be brave be you and the little cluster down here and 
I made her just a little, there's three sheets, and it's perforated, so she can just tear that off, and that just slides right back in there. Then, one of the things that um, Tina is asking for in the challenge is either a ATC or MDC, Memory Dex or Artist Trading Card. I went with the ATC because I've already made her an MDC. This is bold. I absolutely love the way that turned out. There's more of the little flowers. The Dollar Tree flowers. On the back is my info. This is one of one and it's titled Bold. And then that just goes right back in there. Happiness blooms from within. Love that. Then you flip again. And here's the last envelope. And it's got be kind. And Tina is extremely kind and sweet. And then inside. Here is a sh two sheets of paper. For her to use. And do whatever. She that's from this kit. And that's just gorgeous. I think she'll like that. And then I made her a birthday card. It's your birthday, and I did that with this gorgeous little die, the little girl die, and Annie of Annie Creates gifted me that. It, it's so cute. So, I thought it would be a cute way to present what she wanted, uh, her card, and her um, ATC is just part of the envelope. And that was a lot of fun to make, guys. You'll be seeing several of these. I will be making more. And on this, I've just got the, that flower just kind of holds that first one in place. So there is her stacked envelope. And then <clears throat> she also wanted handmade embellishments and flowers well there's my handmade embellishments for sure there's plenty right here but I decided to go ahead and make her some of my handmade flowers and I made her um six okay so there's um, one, two, three paper flowers, and these are fabric flowers like this one. This is a fabric flower. So she's got three fabric and three paper, um, flowers, and I think they just turned out gorgeous. What do you guys think? I think she'll like them. Purple and green are Tina's favorite color. And then she also wanted us to make now, you didn't have to do all this stuff. You could still enter with you. It's, it was totally optional how much time you want to put in it. But I adore Tina. Um, she is so supportive, guys. She is such a big support here in our community. And that's why I'm a little surprised that she hasn't had more people respond to her challenge giveaway. And why I'm asking everybody to consider going over there. Because Tina is just the greatest. Anyway, there are her flowers. Um, I should have put a better back on, but I didn't. And I want to get these in the mail. And then she also asked if we could make a dangle. So I made her a dangle. And I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Now, it's still got plenty of room if she... Because I didn't put a charm or theme on it. It's just made of beads. And that way, if she wanted to, you know, add butterflies or something for a theme, she could. But let me show you what... You see this big one here. It's looking blue on my camera, but this is not. It's purple, just like all this is purple. It looks blue, but it's not. It's purple. Purple and green. 
And I wanted a purple, big, large purple bee. I did not have any. So I just took this great big bead and I poured alcohol ink down through the middle. And here's the effect I got. And I love it. I did the same thing with both of these beads. And oh, it looks so different in, in person than it does on camera. The camera just cannot do it justice. And then I actually am going to present her these with this hung on the flowers like this. And then you could get more points if you sent her some extras. And I did. I've got some extras. But I'm not going to share those with you so that she might be surprised when she gets this. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Those are my projects for Tina Loves to Craft. Again, I ask that you go over and share some crafty love with Tina. And if you're up to it and you want to, Please join her challenge because Tina is just, she's fantastic. Fantastic. And let me know what you think about my first stacked envelope. And Sheila, if you watch this, dang on you, you've created a monster. <laughs> From Virginia, guys, we'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.